So if you see this baby floating off the coast of the Silicon Valley, it is not a cruise ship. It is an entire community of startup tech companies. Since the U.S. only gives out so many work visas, a lot of foreigners with startups are sent packing. Blue Seed is an enormous ship, and it will be conveniently floating in international waters so that entrepreneurs can launch their companies without having to worry about those pesky work visas. Joining me now in the Fox Business exclusive is Blue Seed CEO and co-founder Max Marty. Max, I got to say, I salute you. This is a genius idea. Um, do you get around the whole visa problem with this? Well, entrepreneurs had a, a pretty serious visa problem, which is that there is no visa that allows them to, to be here and to create a startup, a high-tech company. Uh, so by being 12 miles out, just outside of the U.S.'s international, uh, just out in the U.S.'s international waters, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't have to deal with the U.S.'s visa restrictions. It, it's genius. Um, do you have to live out there? I mean, how exactly do you get around the law? Because I know public companies that have their meetings in international waters so they don't have to pay U.S. tax. I mean, this is, it's a new idea in terms of startups. I mean, do they live on the boat? Uh, yeah, yeah. So when you're 12 miles off the coast, you are, uh, the law says that you can do whatever you need to do out there in terms of running a company or starting up, et cetera. You don't need that visa. So you would live on the boat, work on the startup, and then come in and out of the country on a travel visa or such in order to be able to talk to people and to meet with people here in Silicon Valley. So do you have to pay t U.S. tax on your income? Yes. If you are a U.S. citizen, uh, you have to pay tax no matter where you generate that income anywhere in the world. And if you're a U.S. company, uh, you also have to, of course, abide by the tax regulations of the United States. So why would you do this instead of being like just over the border in Canada or being in Bermuda on the other coast? I mean, it does seem like it, it's genius, but it's a little bit inconvenient. Right. Um, so being in Silicon Valley is incredibly important for high tech startups in particular. This is a great place to sort of plant your roots as a high tech company and be able to grow into the next Facebooks, the next Googles, create all those jobs, all that innovation, all that technology. This is where you want to do it. There really is no place in the world like Silicon Valley if you have that dream and that aspiration. Um, and so we are creating this place right near Silicon Valley so that people have the ability to come in and out and, and partake in a lot of the magic that helps those companies to grow. And once they're large enough, do everything we can to help them to make the transition onto land. So is it already floating and what's demand like? So we're not in the water yet. We're still in the fundraising stages. But so far, we have about 300 companies that are looking to come on board from 58 different countries all around the world. And they're looking to be on board. It's about two or three founders per company and about 300 of those. Um, and then, of course, their, their ultimate goal is to grow large enough, become substantial enough that they can get the proper visas to move into the country. What's the cost? It's about $1,600 per person per month, and that gets you office space and residential uh, uh, living space. But the more interesting part is that we take a small portion of equity in all of the companies that locate on board, mm. about 6.5%. So that sort of aligns our incentives with theirs. Our goal is to help them to scale and to succeed and then help them to make the transition onto land, because if they do that, they'll eventually have some sort of liquidity event, et cetera, and we make money as well. Very clever. You have to keep us posted. Any company that is innovative enough to legally stick it to the government, I love that. So keep us posted. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks. Thanks for having me.